All right, we are going live. Brandon Campion, how you doing, buddy? Good, Darren. How you doing? Very good. It is always good to be with you, my friend. Welcome to Baptiste Yoga TV. How about that? Thank you. That's fun, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 2023, Baptiste Yoga on TV, live streaming. Oh, there Can you, you believe go. that? Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. We I established this, um, well, this, this new Baptiste Yoga TV here on YouTube on um, a couple weeks ago. So it was an existing channel, but it was kind of dormant. So now we um, I've turned this into Baptiste Yoga TV. I've started a new uh, YouTube channel. It's a Baron Baptiste podcast. I'm posting the podcast on there, and I'm going to start doing uh, just more content, general content around comment, just commentary on what's happening in life, what's happening in the world, what's happening with people, leadership, entrepreneur uh, kind of stuff, you know, developing entrepreneurs. Um, I want to talk about money, finances. A lot of people are struggling with money and finances. So all that. And it's bringing these practices, right? The, um, you know, the, the physical, the self practices into life and, and having an impact in all areas of life. So all of you listening, yeah, go sign up for uh, or subscribe to Baron Baptiste podcast as well. So Brandon, you want to tell people who you are and where you are in the world and even where people can find you before we get into it here? Well, um, I've been practicing yoga, Baptiste yoga since 2001 I always had a dream of owning a studio, and I got one in Northampton, Massachusetts, Shiva Shakti Yoga, and I uh, own the Baptist Power Yoga Studio Boston in Brookline, Mass. And, yes, um, you do. It's just, an amazing community you've created there. Unbelievable. Right in the middle of a teacher training right now, and it's like, um, oh my God, I'm just coming back to that space that's that's timeless, you know, that, that, that that's yeah. in my heart when I do my work and I have yeah. commitment and vision and wow. So that's what I'm doing. It's right coming now. alive. And, it's coming alive. huh? Yeah. And I'm doing a lot of driving down the mass pike, which is, um, its own yoga pose. Mass pike is one of the most intense roads in America. I'll put that road up to any other road in America. <laughs> a lot of intense people getting a lot of, um, going to places and I'm, I'm on it th four times a week. Usually you, you, traffic. Fit, it, you fit in perfectly. Oh, I do. I do. One of those intense people, I right? Do. I do. It's what people love about you. Man. Oh, man. I do my best. I do my best on that road, but it's mm -hmm. one of my greatest trainings getting to the, uh, get into the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. So you're leading a training now. How's yeah. that going? Do you Unbelievable. Just, like, like a 200 you know, hour kind of thing? You know, honestly, yes. Um, the th yeah, 200 hour training right now. And, uh, we're going to be done by the end of the year, but, um, I've just watched my, cause I haven't done a training for, since COVID before COVID oh, as a wow. leader. This is your you know? first one back as a leader. And it's just like, I can't believe how much I've grown. I've grown so much. And I'm so, um, with a healthy pride, uh, where I stand as a leader and as a teacher. And I always look back to my, my training with you, Baron. And, um, I'm so grateful really for the training, for the training. Cause it's, I wouldn't be where I am, where I am right now without training. Like hard yeah. training, daily training, remembering the vision every single day I wake up. Every time I get my feet on the ground out of my bed, I'm remembering my vision. Every single thing I do, I'm moving towards that vision that I had um, when I started practicing. You know, I went to Hawaii with you back in uh, 2000. I don't know. Jeez. You're left for your I'm level gonna, one. When you say went yeah. to Hawaii, we yeah, weren't yeah, going yeah, on vacation. We didn't go on vacation in Hawaii, right? <laughs> I don't remember that trip. <laughs> no, no. But like, I remember that training. Level one at Kalani. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember had... that training. So I still eat a, a dessert from there. What? That I found from there. Oh, you got the recipe? And... Yeah, I got the recipe, exactly. <laughs> Wait, what year was did you? Was that level I think it, it had to be 2004 or five. Okay. But um, I go back there all the time in my head and just remember, I, I look back and be like, look where you are now. And then I look to the future and be like, you have a lot more work to do like that right we yeah. never arrive and we uh yeah we never arrive and no, there's and it's the same more thing. more to go through and we never arrive and the, there's no out what i've come to realize is you know that who was it that said the is it robert frost or someone said you know the way out is through 
what I've come to realize is there's no out. There's just through. <laughs> <laughs> you don't arrive. You just, there's just through. You just, when there's something to go through, you go through it. That's and, funny. And, <laughs> and ideally you're growing and you're evolving, you're learning, you're discovering for yourself, whether it's showing up to teach a class and lead a group and facilitate something with others, or you're living your life and whatever you're going through, the way out is through. Uh, but there's no out. There's no out. There's just through. A hundred percent. I understand <laughs> but, but that. But the way out, the way out is like the carrot, right? It's like the carrot that, okay, well, if I, if I go through this, I'll go out, I'll get out of it. Somehow. I can fix but something. I can like figure that. it out. I can figure <laughs> something out. Or I'm going to, I'll fix it. I'll get it right. Yeah. And it's just like, it's like that dissatisfaction of life. You know, you're just like always in the yeah. space where you're never going to be satisfied, like ultimately. So you have this, this space inside of you that, that you need to feed. It, that's the, that's a paradox. You're, you're never going to be satiated, but you have to keep feeding this thing. And um, you got to do it with love. You know, and this is the thing, Baron. This is like no, you you uh, don't have to do anything. You don't have well, to. If I if I don't, I crumble. Yeah, I, I crumble. I'm just saying you don't have to. You could go through. People go look. Look at the world. I mean, how many people are going through with hate, or anger, or resentment, or blame, or fault, faulting, blaming themselves, or faulting, blaming whatever the thing. But it's like love isn't a have to. <laughs> I I say that's a choice. Love is a choice. Yeah, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. Well, yeah. I mean, look around. I'm just saying, like, look around. You know, people and how people live life. If if everyone had love as a have to, and it's the only way, then we'd be living in a different world right now. That's all. I agree with you with that. I agree with you. Let me say that yeah. you, you. I'm not looking for your agreement either, but I'm glad it lands. <laughs> it does. Just, just it saying. Does. I didn't want to just step over that one. No, but, I. Um, no, I. You yeah. know, I'm. 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 You know, I'm. I'm thinking about the 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 principles, just principles of of yeah. being alive. Yeah. Just principles of a life, and I think it brings us back to you know our practice on the mat. Uh, mm -hmm. about being intentional. Let me say, yeah, you don't have to, you don't have to do anything, right? You can fall apart. You can be completely yeah. unintentional. Well, you can be, dis you can disintegrate. You can die. You can just crumble if you want. Well, you, right? you but do. we're in the business of yoga, pulling ourselves together to remember what we're in, what we stand for. So if I don't, if I am not, if I don't wake up every day and don't remember my, my North star and what I stand for, I mm. will crumble. I actually am dying. It's a, it's a moment to moment thing. It's like, I do have a choice, but there's that paradox. I actually don't have a choice once I'm clear. Otherwise, I'm ignorant. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, yeah. It's different consequences or different outcomes, right? Different. Like, I like what you're saying, though, that having that alignment. And that's what I want to get to you today, too, is talking with you through the, um, the principles, organizing principles of True North Alignment that we work with in our training uh, and in the practices and and because those organizing principles give that access, you know, like the first organizing principle, right? Like be up to something bigger than yourself and be intentional in creating the physical foundation of the pose. And that pose could be like right here, right? You and I right here, we're in a, a kind of pose, a kind of posture. So it's like anything in life it applies to, but that when you're speaking about vision or remembering a vision each morning, it's like that, is lining up. That's truing up. Yeah. To your true north. Yeah. Your northern star in a sense. And then you organize the the foundation of the pose, the foundation of your day, the foundation of your life as an ongoing moment to moment to moment phenomena, orienting yourself, your actions around it, your behaviors toward it. It for you, I hear it like it includes love, coming from love as a part of fulfilling that vision. Yeah. Even though, and that is a certain set of outcomes or um, uh, consequences, positive ones, or, or or and maybe not, but usually dangerous ones, dangerous when, consequences. Yeah, it always takes us to danger, but that's good, right? The danger, it, it's because what's the alternative? If you're to awake, it safe. If you're awake, if you're awake, it's playing it awake. safe, playing it. You know, staying in the comfort zone, shrinking back, like 
putting walls up to keep others out, to keep you locked in kind of thing. And then in that we diminish, right? So when we're up to something bigger than ourselves and we're truing up to our calling, our vision, then it takes us to dangerous places, scary places. Beautiful ones too, you know? And, but this, and this, Yeah, all of it, right? Good, bad, ugly, perhaps, but new, not in that comfort zone where we, you know what I like to we'll say. Take, we'll, we'll take chaos and we'll take change as long as it's not old. <laughs> I'm, well, in, I'm, mm. I, I, I'm, I'm with that. I'm actually with, I don't think we have a, um, when we're, pl when we're, when we're holding true to our vision, it's not like we have a choice. What, um, well, I guess we always have a choice, but some paths open up that we have to take that when we look back, we're pretty arduous and intense, you know, and, and, and it, and it looks, so, and when yeah. we look back, we're like, well, actually, I needed to walk that path. Yeah. I, I mean, it's where we grow, that. right? Where we grow. I think this is what mm -hmm. makes us commit to something bigger than ourselves yeah. is that we are on our hands and our knees sometimes. And if we're awake when we're not on our hands and our knees, we realize that our greatest efforts actually probably not maybe it brought us there, but can't bring us to a point where we actually want to be. We actually have to acknowledge something's beating our heart. Someone, something's waking us up in the morning and um, being a yes for us to keep living. I, we all know it, how quickly, how quickly things can change just like that. You know, my, um, my mom just lost her final, her last sister. And it was just like, and I'm, and I'm watching my mom right now, just like live her life in a totally different space and uh, creating a totally different foundation for herself as she's moving forward. And it's, it's um she's making it she's making it good she's yeah. bringing this 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 intensity to a place where she's actually organizing her life from a um a space of power so yeah. i mean it depends through, what happens through, through through that loss yeah through that loss and um yeah. no matter who we are if we're going to move forward we have to be intentional and and i stand behind it we have to do it with love we have to have a global um vision for not only ourselves but for other people and if it's just the people closest to us, I'm not saying you have to go across uh, the world and help people. I'm just saying right here, right now, that would be great. But right here, right now, I mean, I, I know the difficulties I have with my own partner and I love my partner. I love my mother. I love my father and, and everybody, the people close to me. I know the challenges I have and I'm just being intentional, waking up every day and making sure those relationships are sound and, um, and, and cared for as one of my greatest intentions as a teacher, because if I don't have that, I can't really teach from a powerful space, unless I'm yeah. doing this in my life every day. Yeah. Wait, so I want to get back to the training. You so you're saying you're leading a training and you know, I'm leading a, a level one uh, next week. It starts October 24th and um, it, a level one. And so partly I did a, a call like this last week with Nick Clark from Spotted Dog Yoga. And part of what I said to him is like, this is how I, you know, we all have our own different ways of preparing to lead. And, uh, but I'm like, I, I'm going to, I like preparing out loud. So I yes. like, like getting, you know, the methodology up, talking it out. Cause when you're, to, to me, that's the only actual way to prepare. If you just read notes, they're not really preparing. I mean, you can't cause it's, it's one thing we learn, right, in, in leading and teaching is if a group or something, you, you, it's embodied, right? And that's what we want to get to is have it embodied that it's something that we're trued up to, but it's in our bones. The, the expre our self-expression is, is the, if we're teaching something, and let's say in this case we're teaching the organizing principles of true north alignment i mean you talk about those conceptually like you know are we at trainings we put them up on a, on the wall on a poster right and it's like a bumper sticker up there or you can have it you know a note notes in front of you and that's good i mean okay you can read it as to presence to what presents yourself to the thing the principle or the 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 uh, concept right there. But then to take it out of concept and make it real, it's like, it's going to happen in yourself, like speaking it out, like actually doing the thing, preparing is sharing it out loud. I mean, you could do it in a mirror, but when it really comes to life, life is with another. So 
my preparation usually to lead a training is to talk it out loud and talk it out loud with others. Or, you know, at, at a level one, I like the days, le- any level one I like le- or any training that is, I like getting in person with people as well. And just like talking it out, talking it out. And it brings it into existence. It brings it in, takes it off the page and brings it up into the stage of life and you share it, right? It's yeah. something real. Yeah. You're kind of so, you're being intentional, creating the foundation of your level one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The first story. So yeah, you all, the first story for it, people who don't know who are watching the first organizing prince, how many principles are there, uh, Brandon? Eight. Okay. I'm so joking. The, I'm joking. There's five. Come on. Okay. So, so <laughs> I was just, I was just going to keep going. <laughs> so the first organizing principle is what? <laughs> The intentional and creating the physical foundation of the pose and no. being up to something bigger than yourself. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's number one. Yeah. So when you show up to your training, the one you're leading right now, do you do that? Do you, do you put that principle of be intentional and in creating the physical foundation of the pose and be up to something bigger than yourself? Yeah. Do you, do you actually do embody yeah, that yeah, like do that how does that well, show I'll, I'll up tell you. when you're going to teach so you know i've been a, cl- doing- a class right when you teach a yeah. class or teach a training or what yeah yeah i mean i'll i'll i'll, I'll kind of lay it out so um just to just to lay out the foundation i've been working with this methodology for oh how long baron i remember i was in the car talking to you at one point <laughs> and you go write this down and you go physicalness, empowerment, and possibility. And I go, P-P-E, P-P-E. And I kept on remembering that, right? And I don't know what, what was happening, but I was like, I remember that possibility. I mean, physicalness, possibility, and empowerment. I thought it started with physicalness, empowerment, and possibility. But anyway, um, I just watched this, this methodology grow over mm-hmm. the years. And <clears throat> the depth that I've been going, the depth that I've experience just through going through the simplicity of it like saying yeah in the beginning i used to say tell my tell my students be intentional and in creating the physical foundation of the pose and be up mm-hmm. to something bigger than yourself and that was my entry level way of working the first principle of uh yeah. the first principle of, of organizing true north alignment, alignment. okay yeah. mm-hmm. And I kept using it and using it, and I kept getting bored saying it, but I was like, I know this has to happen. If these guys can't stand on the two feet, their mind is not going to be stable. Absolutely not. If, if I can even go over and push them a little bit, unless they're grounded like Stone Buddha, they are not going anywhere, <laughs> right? And I know this. I, I practice enough, and I'm like, I'm not witnessing the skin on my feet, my toes. If I, if I don't scrub the bottoms of my feet, the sensitivity in the skin of the bottoms of my feet is not up to where it can be. That's how intentional I am right now at this point in my life work in this principle. Like I'm conscious of my feet. So when I'm in class, yeah, I started off saying this, right? Yeah. Be intentional, mm-hmm. creating the physical. And then I started actually looking, right? <laughs> observing, and then listening to the breath while I was observing. Wait, and then wait, 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 wait. Looking and at observing people's what? Feet, at people's feet. On it. Okay. Their foundation, right? Yeah. Whatever body yeah. parts were touching the floor, so I was give you give directions, you give instructions, like lift the ten toes, spread the toes, like something like that, and then you observe. Yeah, well, did, it, did, yeah. It land, did it land in their body? Right? Yeah, I'll start like yeah. I'll be like I'll be like build on rock, or be intentional, create the physical foundation of pose, or you know like um yeah yeah feel earth, feel get connected to earth under your feet. Well, this is where I started to go after I started creating the form using just the form of be intentional, creating the physical foundation of the pose and be up to something bigger than yourself. Just the form, those words in that order, just like that, as I started delivering that mm. for years and years and years, then I started feeling it and being like, Oh wait, you better look at their feet and then look at their body type and look at their leg size, look at the length of their legs and look if their toes are spread out. And actually look, if you are, if when you say spread your toes and lift your toes, spread your toes across the mat or lift and spread your toes, look to see if it's happening. And if it's not happening, request it again and maybe deliver it with a different tone. Mm-hmm. Actually listen to see if your words are landing in their bodies. Yeah. And um, I was, Baron, I'll tell you this too. This was, this took a lot of inquiry. Be up to something bigger than yourself. I wouldn't say this in the beginning. There's no fucking way I would say this in the beginning. Because in the beginning, I wasn't up to something bigger than myself. I was trying to get it right and do it right. So there was, I couldn't oh, yeah, yeah, be wait, up wait, to wait, something wait, bigger really, than myself. Really good. Wait, you just said something. I don't want to step over it. 
because it's very good. It, you said, what do you say about doing it right? So that's one of the defaults that we train people in, right? If I'm yeah. training teachers, I'm like, this is something, hey, you all, this is something you want to presence for yourself. One of the defaults, one of the traps that you want to clear yourself of before you walk into a classroom is getting it right or doing it right. Because that thing, if you have that in your mindset, if you have that in your, your vision, if it, it taints it and it actually, it shrinks your vision into, now you actually don't even see people like what you're speaking to. What happens is you default into content like delivering information. It becomes informational, not something that brings the physical experience, the physical, uh, the, the concept into reality, right? So it's like, God, that's a very important thing. The presence is like a default trap is getting it right, doing it right. You just got to put that aside and be willing to be messy, be willing to be true, and just spit it out. Say it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, this is the thing too, Baron. When I was saying this stuff, right, be intentional. I knew that I, I know, I've watched you teach. I've watched you. I've studied you, and I know what's possible. This is the thing. I know what's possible from a teacher. I know the power of a teacher, and I know what can happen in a room. And I am not fucking. I am not satisfied. Most of, most of the time, unless I hit the like, unless I'm like something moved through me and I feel like I like I just run downstairs. I don't want anyone tell. I don't want to hear how good the class was. Something moved through me. Okay, so <laughs> it's like yeah. unless I have some type of template or something rudiment or some type of skill to return to, mm. nothing's channeling through me. So I I used to say this word for word, be intentional, create the and for work for years, and yeah. then I started. It doesn't mean anything to anybody. No, no, it no. It's actually, it's, it's, just, it's a block. Yeah, but if you stay totally. with it and then you yeah. start saying like, well, you be intentional. You yeah. look, you, and then you really start, then you start speaking to the feet and you start speaking to the feet, the whole class and the whole intention yeah. starts to come to life about what your intention, the whole really intention. Good. Let me, let me comment life. on that. So, because it, it's so good what you're saying. It's not about, so here, I'll say it like this. The way you know like as a, as a teacher, as if you're leading a classroom, the way you know that you're actually teaching the methodology is that you're not speaking to it directly. <laughs> you're not saying, okay, y'all. Well, know, you actually uh, told me that fucking 20 organizing, years ago. <laughs> organizing principle number one, you know, be intentional in creating the physical <laughs> foundation of the post, be up to something bigger. doesn't mean anything. Yeah, that's a good one. It's life. You, yeah. And that's what you're saying, right? You actually, oh, dude. you got to a point, but we all have to realize that on our own, right? It, and it, but by through the doing of it, you know, to master something, what's that saying? Like, or that study that said to master something, it takes about 10,000 hours. Right. Yeah, but yeah. These are the things that start, you start working out. Of, right. 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 To yourself, yeah, yeah. discovering for yourself in real so, time. So you're grounded in the methodology, but the way you know that you're actually, he, uh, breathing it as a and speaking it, living it as a real thing in the moment is that you're not talking about what's up on the poster. Yeah, you're not yeah, talking yeah. about so the actual methodology. No, you're giving all of your own experience on the That's... mat, off the mat. You're speaking to being intentional about be creating the physical foundation, but out of your own experience, you're pulling it off the out of that well you know, like a water well, you're drinking out of the, your experience, your own experience, your own practice, your own life. You're speaking to it in a way that's real, not just concepts. It's funny. That's like the classic one with be a yes. Everyone be a yes, be a yes, be a yes. And then it's like, no, you first, it's so funny. Remember Quayley, Baron? I remember it was a point in my, it was, she used to mentor me and she used to go, I used to be like, come on, you guys smile. And she was, she used to teach me and she goes, you first. And I was like, yeah, exactly. Have fun. Remember that the classic amateur thing for a teacher to say, Hey, everybody have fun. It's and like, yeah, well, my like mother it. just died. Fuck you. Yeah. My mother just died. I don't want to have yeah. fun. You know, but it's just like, if you yeah. want to be, if you want to, if you want to see something, then be it. You know, it's just like, uh, yeah. you first, you first, you be intentional, creating the physical foundation of the pose before you tell us to do it. Yeah. 
You yeah. you be intentional, Creighton. <laughs> this, but this was the, a big the, the lights the went teach, on for me. Yes, yeah, like yeah. So the teacher, what you're saying is, if you're gonna say have fun, the te- you, you are in a space of having fun, right? Yeah. Being playful, you. having fun. Like you be 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 what you say. Yeah. Yeah, I create be, balanced be action. Who, you be you be balanced yeah. action. Don't be a pushover in your class. And at the same time, be fucking cool. You know, it's like don't be a pushover. Like hold good space for people. Don't let people get away with stuff. But at the same time, be compassionate and kind and loving. Yeah, and like that's what. Um, Baron, do you remember? Well, you know, you know, I'll tell you one definition of love for me is, um, you know, accepting people exactly as they are, and as exactly and as they are not. exactly as they are, and as they're not. So it's like, however they're doing the pose, it's perfect. And, it, and if you're coming from that kind of acceptance in the room, you're giving direction, you're bringing it to life. And however it's landing on them, however it's showing up for them on the mat, in their body, in the moment, that's, you're also coming from a space of, as a, as a leader, you're not like, it, it doesn't, it's not satisfying what you think it should be. It's, However, it is for them is perfect. It's whole. It's complete. Nothing to fix. Nothing. But you can see something's missing. Oh, they're not breathing. So you give that direction, like encourage. Okay, yeah, breathe, yeah. Really come into your breath, or you can tell there's some disconnect from their brain to their hands. You just like okay, awaken your hands, and you just see, you know, there. That's not. And so you keep giving these directions, so they have the opportunity to put the those principles in and then you but you're not attached to an outcome for them does that make sense mm, yeah yeah it's yeah. like we learn over time and leading or practicing like it's a long game right and you're evolving oh, yeah. you're learning you're you're what works what doesn't work for it's, yourself and it, and having the space to allow others to do that as a teacher are you speaking to statusuka like control surrender in the realm of just like as a as a leader in the class, guiding people through asana, yeah, right, yeah. Well, like not having a forced maybe, outcome. There's yeah. this looseness, right? I didn't I didn't have that in mind. This, oh, okay, you know, okay. thing, but it, I think it, it would fit there for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just thinking more of like as a like when I was saying mm-hmm. a studio owner of having fun in a class, but at the same time, yeah. like don't let people text on their mat. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like there's like some stieta of like, but some teachers will walk right by things that like shouldn't be happening. Like I go around and I still take classes in other studios and I'm like, oh, I was like, yeah, no, no, it's really good. You know, people, because you're, you're create, that's part of um, being intentional and creating the physical foundation as an instructor. Yeah. You're also creating an environment where people can be focused. There's not distractions. There's not you know, if you have someone in your room that's being a distraction to the whole space, the environment, then as a leader, you need to have the 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 uh, the strength or the clarity, the courage, the commitment to speak to that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and 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 to handle it gracefully. But you, you, there needs to be. I I think I was thinking about like if I do if I start doing in person level ones again one yeah I, I'd, I'd be i wouldn't let people bring their cell phones into the room anymore please i'm, I'm yeah. gonna put more rigor God. in there like yeah not, that anyone, that, was texting, not that anyone was texting in my class because i wouldn't allow that either right you should I mean, see what like, I can if deal someone with. needs to pick up their phone and they're dealing with something and you can sense that there's something urgent and i'm like fine no problem but if someone's in there just distracted that's <sighs> oh. different And that's the kind of thing you need to keep clear, right? Uh, For well, as a facilitator, it's you are as a teacher, you're responsible for the environment. Well, that's the the fifth domain of mastery, right? Mastery of the communal environment. Yeah, that's huge. That's huge. Yeah, that really is big. You know, learn how to deal with lights, dealing with people if they're too close to each other. Everything, the whole place, telling people to get up to the front of their masks, yeah. getting enough air in the room, getting the lights down, making sure the heat's hot enough, not too hot. I mean, it's a lot, especially enough in Boston. Enough, it's like, holy air, shit. Air, enough air and oxygen oh my in the God. space. Yeah, All those yeah. things is exactly that. That's part of the first principle of 
organizing principle of true north alignment is right that being intentional, intentional. creating the physical foundation of pose. Well, your whole class is a pose, right? Yeah, dude. And it's all those things. You know, and that's, so the, awesome. that's mastery of the mechanics as well, right? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Of five domains of mastery. It's all yeah. one thing. It's yeah. all one thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's what's yeah. awesome. <clears throat> you know, remember that, Baron? And uh, we were at this is like one of my classic stories about um the tenets. When um remember when me wait Lisa, tell, Taylor, tell tell people just what are the tenets the ten the ten so tenets the ten tenets are um we have uh, we have tenets of, of for leading right there are yeah. ten tenets for teaching and leading that we go into that's level one maybe we just barely review that I don't know if we even do in level one but as well, you get into upper level trainings then. The 10 tenets is what we work from in your delivery as a instructor, as your, you know, your self-expression, you know, how to, how to, from where the tenets give you a place to lead from. You want to share them real quick? Yeah. Come from where connected. Um, yeah. Come from, drop, say it a little, a little slower. Come from, we are connected. Come from, we are connected. That's a tenet. Yeah. Drop That's what good. you know and listen. Drop what you know. And this again is from, this is from a teacher, a leader context right yeah uh, yeah drop what you know like get all your knowingness your opinions those filters that might taint your view drop all that and and listen and you listen for something or you uh it, it it's more than just listening for but it's 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 you're, you're li it's a listening for what's needed and what's wanted not listening for well, all that my knowledge as a teacher and how can I like hose everybody down with all my knowledge, right? So you drop what you know and you listen, you know, you look and you listen to what's in front, the people in front of you, right? And you get, and then it, it pull, isn't it amazing how it just comes right out of you though? It like comes right out of your mouth when you really drop everything you know and you come and, and you, there's a clarity there, right? So, oh, you just dropped off. Are you there, Brandon? No, I guess not. I lost your camera. Technical difficulty. I can hear you. There we go. There you are. Yeah, yeah you're sorry. Back. What happened? There? You're talking with your hands. Is that you're can Italian? You are you Italian? Yeah, I can hear yes. you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're, you're talk <laughs> I, I talk my hands, dude, but you, you knocked something. So <laughs> it keep you away from the equipment. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, wait, so, wait, let me ask you something. I want to back up again. So you're leading a training. Mm -hmm. And what is it, what do you love about, like, what do you, what, so when I, you first said that, I, I really could get your, um, you're inspired by it, right? You're, yeah. you're, you're. Something in you is uh, uh, awakened. What is it that's awakened in you for in leading and teaching? I'm seeing the work. On, I, I'm, I'm seeing people discover the work, mm -hmm. and it fuck it kills me. That it's like when I think about it, it it, it kind of breaks my heart, you know, because I what see. Um, I just see, you know, I'm just I see how fortunate I am. And I see how lucky I am that I've been doing this work for so long and then I can share it and other people discover it and they start seeing what's possible in their lives and they start seeing who they're not, who they are, you know, and it's, it's like mm. fucking moving. It's moving, mm. you know, and I'm like, it makes me sad that I didn't give this to my parents. You know, I didn't create a studio around my parents because I have, um, I really feel it. And I, and I thank you. It's like, I, I'm, and I, and I say this in all humility, but I have something really valuable. And I remember the first teacher training you had us do that. Be like, I got it. I want it. I got it. I want it. Remember that? And I knew I had something. I don't remember, just, but, but say more. <laughs> you know, we, we, we got up with a partner and, and you, and you had, it was like this thing of like, I got it. And then the person was like, well, I want it. And it was just like this. Yeah. 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 The, yeah, the teachers. Yeah, yeah. I remember and it's that. just like yeah. everybody's got it. Everybody's got it, but you got to be hungry to want it, you know. And it's just like all this work that I've done. I'm, I, it's just coming into fruition. And I'm, and I'm so happy. And I see mm -hmm. people getting something really valuable. Like what do you, like, what do you see? like what, what do you, I get what from you, you? What I get from you? There's something transmitted. I say this. I've, I've had this in karate. I've had this in mm -hmm. even wrestling. Like the lineage 
it, it's bit it's it's like and it's 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 infused in you it's transmitted to you you're around people and you, and you start getting it and i've been studying you a long time you know and it's just like uh i'm just i'm just happy to see the work really working and time disappearing you know and seeing yeah. like wow it's like i i fucking i i get all worked up on thursday i'm like okay i gotta get together friday saturday and sunday high energy and i get nervous a little bit and i get all ready and then i get there and then Sunday night comes around. I'm like, ah, I don't want to end, you know. And I and I love ending, but it's just like, wow. And I'm I know I'm a workaholic, but at the same time, I love my work. I love it, you know. It's like timeless. So, um, well, is it for you as it is for me that it, when you see what you're speaking to in people, like the difference it makes? You're giving people tools, and you see them applying the tools in real time. <clears throat> and the difference that makes for them, like you start seeing something shifts. You see their whole countenance, their face, the muscles in their face, you know, shift and relax and open up their energy <laughs> expands. But, but wait, wait, is that the thing as it is for me, for you that um, makes it all worth it? You know, the, whatever the long hours and the, the dedication and the, um, cause it, it's not all easy, right? It's hard to set up oh, like dude. your classes and show up for the classes and show up and keep showing up. There's a lot about it that's very hard and uncomfortable, but it, it's when you keep showing up and you become more effective as an instructor and you keep training and evolving and developing yourself, you and you start to see that what you're doing is making an impact in the moment for people, real people living real lives with real situations. You start seeing that change. But for me, it's that's what would always keep me coming back. That is as a teacher or leader, that would always be the thing that I'd be like, oh, this is why I'm doing this. This is what makes it all worth it. So if it's not happening for them, it's not happening for me. Not even close. Right. I suffer. I, yeah. I go home and suffer. If I, yeah. if I, if, and Baron, I can make this distinction now after 23 years of teaching when I'm in it for me and when I'm not, when I'm actually there for other people, I know it. I yeah. know when I'm there now. And when yeah. I step in that room, it's just like, it's, it's, it's too painful. I've made that. I've made this distinction. It's like any time, any moment you're in that class for you to yeah. sound good, to look good to any time. It, and it comes in through the side door, the back door, trying to look good. Any of those moments make me suffer. I don't want, I don't want those moments anymore. And if yeah. I can look at myself and be vigilant and hold myself to integrity for those 60 minutes or 75 minutes, then I'm on to something good in life. You know, yeah. so it's like those 60 minutes or 75 minutes or these three days in a row or these or a week in training, whatever it is, those are like those are, that's the most important moments of my life. Yeah. That's when those that's the that's my moment of truth for for God or whatever you call it. That's my moment of truth. So that means that moment of truth is all these little moments in a class. And I'm learning how to really be with these people moment to moment so they can be in the moment. I, you know, if I'm not there, they can't be there. You know what I'm, yeah, I got, what I'm hearing is um, you're speaking to being in service, in, in service to others and providing, you know, what's needed, what's wanted in a real way that makes a real difference. But am I, is that when I don't know who I am, when I don't know who I am, I serve you. When I do know who I am, I am you. That's Ram Das. That's Ram Das. Yeah. When, when I don't, yeah. when, I, when I don't know who I am, I serve you. When I do know who I am, I am you. That's a little, um, existential for my Holy brain. shit. Really? <laughs> I bet. I bet. Not no, me. That hits me no, like a no, fucking no. I'll tell you what I, I'll tell you what I get from that is that <clears throat> when another person is inspired or they're brought to a place of enthusiasm, it wakes that up in me, that inspiration. And that's where the I am you. It's not that I'm you because you are you. I am I. I am me. But the fake you. But. But the, well, well, no, wait, listen. So the thing is that it, it's the qualities in humanity that come forward. So if, if I'm in an environment and 
at the source or creating an environment with others in co-creation and and you see someone come to life uh inspired let's say or they come into vitality or they come into some new strength or confidence some you, something drops off some you know, a, a weighted, uh, like jacket, a straight jacket of weight they've been carrying around in their lives that drops and, and energy comes forward. Well, that a part of that same part of me wakes up and we're in a, in it's, it's like the inspiration in you that, uh, that I'm inspired by is real. it's an aspect of me. See, I, you get you get that. That's a way. Yeah. That's a way of looking at it. That's a way of looking at it, and I can see that. Yeah, I, I see it a different way. I see it that um, there's one thing happening right here. There's one thing expanding and contracting. It's trying to become aware of itself, and it's inside of me, and it's inside of you. It's listening through you. It's speaking through me. Yeah, yeah. Through yeah. So it's, it's just a, like for it's me, a source I, energy, but something. That's it. That's a it. But if I acknowledge something. that and serve that in myself every day, then I'm gonna want to serve that in every body yeah every body yeah no i get that but dude don't get too weird it's still I'm you not are weird you at all am i, I don't I, that, if you want to I, I don't i'm okay yeah and that in the temporal world and the physical world that is true yeah but i'm up to something bigger than that at this point yeah but you know not and it's, i'm else. not crazy i'm not crazy you, and you're not, not like, someone else <laughs> huh I'll still say there's nothing it. I'm not. There's nothing yeah. I'm not. And I'm not trying to be weird yeah. or esoteric, but I'm just trying to like I'm I'm gonna be 50 years old next year. And I'm like, I'm like, you know, I'm thinking about death more. Mm. I see my I see things falling apart. And I'm yeah. like fucking, I've been studying, I've been and I've been training a lot, you know, and I'm trying to and, and I'm I've been getting back into um Tibetan Buddhism and doing a lot lot of listening and training with Pema children. And I'm like, my heart's awake again, and I feel fucking great. And um you know, and death, death has yeah. always been a, a major part of my training. It's always been one yeah. of the greatest informants in my life. So, yeah. Um, I just want to kind of like look beyond form at this point, form and color. And I mean, that's what's happening in the, in the whole world right now. Things are changing and um, forms are changing. And yeah. But everything's like always changing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Was so, road, so, the, so the road, this, isn't was too, this isn't too fucking, this isn't going to last for too much longer. So yeah. I don't want to get so identified with I am me, I am me. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I understand that. I get that. No, no, I'm not saying, I'm just saying over there, you are you. Whether you can identify, you know, I'm not saying identify with your body. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying you as a spiritual being. Yeah. As a spiritual being, mm -hmm. you'll never be barren. Because, you know, I, I'm, I am a spiritual being. You are a spiritual being. And we're on each on our own journey. And they're, they're qualities we tap into yeah. in our humanity with each. And we could, that could be on a super low frequency. We could, you know, like be in, in a world of uh, malevolence and anger and, and hate and resentment. Or we can also match up in our human and we can match up with others in that. Or we can also match up in the higher kind of, you know, I'm calling it a higher but the, those life affirming qualities, inspiration, enthusiasm, you know, interest, what's important in our, uh, our life, our values, you know, like that. But wait, I, I don't want to, we're going a little off track because I want to bring it back to the organizing, organizing principles. principles. <laughs> yeah. So let's, what's the second one here? What's the second one? Um, well, we, we did leave the, the 10 tenants, right? We left that because we were going through oh, that. And that you brought it's okay. a whole new thing. I, I, I was ready to walk it the ready. fuck back. Okay, I was ready okay. to walk it back. Okay, just read those really quick. Do you have them or read them or, what, or the, call them? The, the tenets? Yeah. Well, we, 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 we left it. We left it. Yeah. Teach from the methodology. Fill the space. Leave people in their greatness. Speak into each and every. Say it a little slower. A little slower. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teach from the methodology. Yeah. Um, fill the space. Mm -hmm. Leave people in their greatness. Mm -hmm. Speak into each and every. Yeah. Listen to how your words are landing in people's bodies and mm -hmm. hearts. Yeah. Create the listening for contribution. Look to what is missing and speak to it. Mm -hmm. And generate inspiration. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
Very good. Okay. And now, can we go back? We're going back to Stiatosuka. And then the next. No, no. Let's go back. No more. No, we're not at Stiatosuka stuff. Because mm-hmm. what's the second <laughs> organizing principle of true north alignment? Stiatosuka. Create Stiatosuka. What is that? Create Stiatosuka. You know, I know. What is so, What does that mean? Oh, to ba- create balanced it, action. Okay. Create say balance more. action. Yeah. Same. Um, well, in the physical realm, it's where we're, we're, we're instructing the students or the principle is to find the parts of your body that are too tight and too loose and to create the appropriate muscle energy and the appropriate uh, surrender or organic energy, letting go yeah. and feeling that like you would tune up an instrument, like, like an, a musician would tune up an instrument looking for the proper tone that they're, that they're moving towards, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. That, like yeah that. Very good. Another way. I'll say it is, you know, is control. I was like, you know, there, there's the putting it in control and then the sukha is the total giving up of control. So it's like the control is like, whether it's muscular or, you know, in the physical or mentally, you know, like I'm, I'm keeping my, my drishti in, keeping my vision in, in the moment, keeping my breath in. That's a kind of control, but then I'm also in, that's the stida part, right? The, 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 um, what's another word for that? Um, Firm, earthy, stable. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, yeah. 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 Okay. (laughs) That works. And and then effort, right? Effort. Yeah. 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 And then, and then there's an effortless Ness, yeah. effortlessness, Ness, yeah. yeah, and bringing those two into balance, yeah, like a dance, yeah, dance, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very good. Okay, what's the third organizing? I mean, we could go, so we could spend a whole weekend on each <laughs> of these, right, or a whole like decade on each yeah. of these, or a whole lifetime, lifetime. on each of these, and it's like that, right? But just to presence them here is like because this is what we, this is what you're teaching and you're training right now, right? And this wow. is what we'll be. I'll be teaching people in, in level one that's coming up next week. I'll be week. teaching this till the day day. Yeah. So what's the third yeah. organizing principle? Um, uh, what is it? Hands, feet, and core. Keeping the bandas. Keep present. No, the I think bandas. you're 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 jumping. Um, the five pillars. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, really? Okay. I always said hands, feet, core. The keep in the bond. I mean, keep keep in the five pillars and bandas. So what are the five pillars? Drishti, Ujjayi. Um, so, yeah. So, Drishti is eye gaze. Just for people who don't know, Drishti is your gaze. We Drishti work is gaze. focus gaze. And then the Ujjayi, Ujjayi. is what? Ujjayi yeah. is the uh, vocalized breathing. It's a breathing, yeah. Throat breathing. Throat breathing. breathing we bring into our physical practice in Baptist yoga. And then what is the third one? Um, Uddiyana Bandha. Well, hands, feet, and core. Yeah, good. The bandas, um, bandas. The bandas. Yeah, hands are a bandas, feet are a bond. And banda means what? An energetic lock. Yeah, like again, it's a controlled, yeah, something controlled, controlling the energy, controlling the expression, like that. That's what a bandas. Is. That's crazy. That's interesting. Yeah. I mean, a lock is like a, a common definition, but what's yeah, I don't a lock? like that. That's what I'm at. That's, that's yeah, because you want to unlock. Lock. It, it's it's control and again the kind of, you know you got the fit the controlled you could say effort and then but there's in the bond is it yeah it's controlling it's controlling awesome parts yeah physical control which is energetic control okay so right. yeah cool. and then um what's the next one um well so, so the, you don't do this one this is vinyasa or tapasya tapasya is it tapasya vinyasa? Yeah, so top tapas, tapas and tapas. then vinyasa. Yeah, and tapas yeah. are what? Tapas is the healing heat that arises through metabolic action. Yeah, like there's some zeal and an inspiration when you're fired up and you want to do the work, and yeah. that heat that rises that you can only get from that work, no matter how hot you put the, <laughs> no yeah. matter how hot the radiate radiant panels are. Yeah, you know, you're going to mm. do that inner work, that zeal, intensity, that heat, right? Yeah, that, heat. that inner yeah. fire, that inner flame. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, vinyasa. Yeah. And vinyasa, what's vinyasa? 
Vinyasa, <laughs> this is <laughs> this is straight out of 40 days, Baron. Vinyasa is an ecosystem of goodness <laughs> that um arranges everything to work on your own behalf. Yeah. Well, vinyasa, well, I th think that's funny. That's good. But vinyasa is just like the intelligence and flow of the world, like the movement. It's expansion, contraction. It's life. Yeah. It has a, it's a current. It's a current, and it's right underneath the surface when you meditate or you start creating ujjayi breath and drishti, and um, it arises. It's there, but you got to, it's like um, you got to enchant it with your skillful action, and then it yeah. comes up. It's flow yeah. state. So flow, vinyasa is flow. It's, it's movement, right? It's movement. Yeah. And what I like to, you know, in, in just to presence is when we talk, say flow, I mean, it's not just flow. It's it's in a, a a context you could say of movement, flow, on a vertical plane, in a sense. But that's up leveling, it's uprising, it's taking you to a a, a more empowered or a, a, a higher space, a higher frequency. A higher, it, it's you're climbing vertically. You're moving up the scale. There's, like there's no, you know, it, it, if just vinyasa on its own, you could you can flow down into the abyss or right. down into the negative or below right, the right. line, right? It's upward <laughs> so flow. It's, it, upward it, it's flow. a conscious flow that's elevating, expanding, and you're up level. You're rising in, in yeah. levels of just your emotional, you know. Um, what you're experiencing emotionally, energetically, physically, it's, 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 yeah, it, it's a climbing or a growing, expanding, flowing, moving up in a sense. Because when you go through a whole practice, a whole journey into power practice, you do the whole practice, you aren't, you, you're left in an elevated, expanded space, what we call, well, we call it journey into power. You're left <laughs> in this space of power, freedom, vitality, right? That that's the, the upward flow of vinyasa, right? Right. right that and then the tapas are the that heat is you're going through the through it. It's that heat is burning away old you know toxicity, mentally, physically, energetically. Things are naturally dissolving, evaporating, being burned out in that you're literally in that burning fight. postures out of your body, like old habits out of your body. Yeah, Postural, old physical habits. posture like movements. Yeah, literally karma. Yeah. Literally Energetic, karma. The the yeah. <laughs> <Karma>. <laughs> it's like oh Jesus. Right, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Though. I'll take it. Burning out old karma. I mean, it sounds good. I get it. I get no, it. you know what? It's just like, I feel yoga, like, yoga I know, path, but yeah. I feel like I can go, I can be there at this point in my life. It's like, fuck that. It's like, okay, you kind of taught me this. You're like, yeah, okay, we're in the Sanskrit. Because I was totally the other way before. Yeah. You know, but now it's just like, yeah. no, I actually honor the tradition. I honor the lineage a little bit. Yeah. A, a little bit. Yeah. And that's how it is. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, yeah. like, I'm not, I'm not, I just. Yeah, I like I like that burning time. It's like burning postural habits. You know, it sounds good. I like it. Yeah. Watch, well, yeah. you're gonna say it at level one. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Come on, my love. like, oh, Brandon got to me. <laughs> yeah, you. It will just slip out, and you're like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh gosh, how'd that happen? <laughs> so, Baron, did you want to get to the third principle? Yeah, please. About the fourth yeah. one. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> that is uh, total body integrity. Yeah. Right. Pull and press down. Lift up. Yeah. From the skin you, to the muscle, the bone, pull in. That's yeah. sick. I use that all. That's like my go-to. That's my go-to. Yeah. That's like action. You know, like you create the general form and then your action. Okay. Do the, do the foundation, of course. Right. <laughs> create balanced action, but, uh, and do your bondage and stuff, but like exiting a pose, like, oh, fuck. Oh, hello. Oh yeah. Are you here? Oh yeah. I'm here. Oh, I see Something that happened. level one journey into power slide came up. I mean, it's good. It's live. It starts it's October 24th. Like, hey. Go to back to <laughs> yoga. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, what um, are you saying? Wait, say, say, it, say it again for every, just say it slower. What total, is the total form? body integrity? Total body integrity. The fourth principle yeah. of yeah. organizing true north alignment, right? Yeah. Um, to pull in. Yeah. Press down, lift up from the skin to the muscle of the bone. Pull in. Right, contract yeah. into the midline. You're pulling and expand all out the, from the center. All the extremities, the peripheral, periphery into the center line. Right yeah. Before. Yeah. Press and then down, it, lift, expand out. 
Yeah. Right. And that kind of leads into the fifth one, which is total body expression. Press, lift, move. Press, lift, move, and expand from the inside out. Yeah. What is it? Say it again. J just the total body the, expression. Total, total body, body expression. expression. Yeah. So total integration, periphery to core, to center and core, and then from center and core out through the extremities. The force moves out. And this is um, all of these five organizing principles. Are they practiced one at a time? Are they practiced concurrently, simultaneously, in a pose? Or are they, yeah, like, ah, yeah, look, good yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. It's a good question. Yeah, it's, it's a good, good, question, good question, right? Like, yes, one at a time and all at once. <laughs> one at a time and all at once. Yeah, it's, that's yeah. how it is. Yeah. But you got to study one at a time. Because I remember out of training, Darren, mm. you had me up in front of a bunch of people and you were teaching, teaching them high to low plank. And I was like, spread your fingers, keep your tailbone. You goes, God damn, one at a time, one thing at a time. Then tell them to keep their finger mounds down. And then they train keeping their finger mounds down, even if their pelvis was up, you know, one thing at a time. So I, you know, look, I did. I, I practiced one thing at a time. It was hard for me to even remember to get, be intentional, create the physical foundation. Yeah. Be up to something, even to get that out of my mouth to remember to say it. I remember yeah. it was difficult to say just to yeah. get myself up. I could say it in training, but in class, like getting it out and then really doing it takes work. Yeah. It's like you're saying, like, you know, this is a preparation for you to do level one and stuff. And like yeah. that teaching in a class is the preparation for the next class. There's no way to learn how to do this in class. Otherwise, other than being in class and doing it and falling in your face. And I'm telling you from experience, if you, you keep doing this over and over and over, it goes deep. It mm -hmm. goes real deep into life mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. you start seeing without being intentional anywhere, you're a mess. Yeah. Yeah. Can't be up to something bigger. Yeah. You're up to yourself and survival. Yeah. So very um, good. Yeah. So those are the five organizing principles of true North alignment there. We could go on and on and on and on. You know that. Yeah, we could. <laughs> no, it's it. good though. Show. We just got it kind of, got them up in into the space here and um preps me thank you preps me up to level one yeah and you bring exciting. it right into your training and um what else yeah you all if you're in boston please check out baptiste power yoga boston get a class with brandon or any of the teachers they are phenomenal um on, on leading level one it starts next week and um, go to baptisyoga.com. Uh, also check out Momentum Nation uh, monthly membership. I'm over there. And um, Brandon, thank you, buddy. Let's do Thanks this. So much, let's do this again. It's kind of fun, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fun. It's always yeah. fun talking to you. We, we could get up. We let them, let, it's, it was funny because it's like, you know, I don't, this is no different than a conversation that we're just having on the phone or something. Yeah, you and I, right? This is how we talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's letting people in on how we talk. Yeah, it's fun. It's, uh, it's funny. It's fun. It's good. Hey, Baron, man. Baron, yeah. Baron, I appreciate all the work you do. It's just like I, I think about you all the time, especially in um in my classes, and I refer to moments that I remember in your training. And um, I love you a whole bunch. Thank you so much. And I know yeah. a lot of people appreciate your work. So yeah, um, love you too, man. Stick with it, and um, I'll see yeah. you soon. Okay. You too. Keep rocking yeah. it out. And yeah. Uh, Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Stay whole. Stay on the mat. Keep presencing your practice when, every day, and all of the time. Make it real. It makes a real difference. No question. Um, all right, my friend. Be well. Thanks, Baron. Take care. Yeah. We will Bye -bye. talk soon. Yeah. See ya.